on legibility. This is a one school for all lecture by me, Andrew Thomas, at Esfeld University College, which I would like you all to watch by Tuesday, the 12th of October, 2021, the Great Reunion. So um, legibility is the English word for um, when something can be read. And I have a rather fraught relationship to this because when I went to school, my handwriting was terrible until I was um, grabbed by my um, French teacher um, and he was just uh, Paul Berry, a wonderful, wonderful teacher. This is not acceptable. It was a word that came very easily to his lips. And, um, and, but he um, spent time um, making me train the words, uh, train the writing, and um, sit down and copying out well-written words and practicing my G's and my L's and my K's. And, um, and, and, and God bless him, he hardly helped <laughs> at all because my handwriting is still terrible. But the point I want to make is that we all know from this experience that when something can be read, it's because there is a great deal of discipline and practice um, behind it. I want to explore this idea of um, when something can be read um, and when discipline is required for being read. So, first of all, question um the question of reading data is um is really relevant today on the 4th of october the face waves were silent in 2001 2021 um and uh, because facebook was down for a, for a few hours and this came on the news all the news items that i saw uh, on the english news and the norwegian news the german news um as as a really important issue because everyone noticed it because we have become addic addicted to something which we are also appalled by um facebook almost all of the news items about facebook are about the way facebook um breaks into our private life and sells our data because um, we all know that we go onto social media in order to demonstrate that we are beautiful unique snowflakes as you can see right here um and um and and we do that because we think we are wonderful flowers. We are things of beauty. Um, but it turns out we are um, plants to be harvested. We are domesticated um, because Facebook sells our data. And, and in general, it's not that they sell our data. They use our data for, um, for better advertising. And that is why um, newspapers are all in crisis and social media are all flowering, um, blossoming because um, Adverts work better when they work on social media because, because social media use the information um, about us. And that is therefore where we deploy our worries, our anxiety. We deploy it in the availability of data about us. The, the fact is people are reading us as human beings um, and we want to know who is reading and what they are concluding and how they use that information. And that's a natural worry. I'm not saying that that's wrong, but I am saying that um, there are um, there are something that happens before that. Um, there are conditions to legibility. Before we can be read, we must display ourselves. We must um, introduce ourselves to the person who is reading us, and and a, and a language has to be established. For Facebook, these conditions are that we are online, that we have filled in sufficient information about ourselves, and we are active on the net with cookies enabled. But there are other ways of reading us, reading who we are. Um, the social sciences um, require that we know enough about ourselves to be able to fill in a form or to be able to um, act as an informant. And it's almost like um, going to school is every bit as much a training in being an informant as it is in training in being a, um, an academic um, agent because um, children have to fill in forms the whole time and tell about who they are. Um, are they happy? Are they alone, lonely? Are they um, content? Are they learning? And it's, and it's fitting that I give you this, um, this video straight after I have asked you to fill in the course evaluation. Tell me the truth about yourselves as students in my course. And you have to be able to identify yourself and the relevant information that I need to know about you as students in my course. And self-knowledge is difficult. Um, and I need to be able to read that um, with a sufficient skepticism towards your self-knowledge and with the knowledge um, that, along with Gregory House, I believe that everybody lies. And therefore, I need to design a really good um, form which will take consideration of that fact that the first rule of self-insight is you do not have self-insight. 
And for states, so that is the way social sciences work. And for states, um, we all need to have an address, for example. It's difficult to give us uh, to, uh, to have a census without an, um, without people having an, an address. Um, a next of kin, some kind of connection to the monster that is society. Um, that we have a personal ID number, for example, as everybody has in Norway. Um, um, that there are papers which is why the paperless have been a, um, an issue recently, because the paperless um, deny, being paperless denies the state knowledge about you, so you can't be found and therefore arrested or, um, or, or thrown out of the country, as very often people who are paperless um, um, are subject to. But also you can't be given social help or, or, or health help if you are paperless. So all of these things allow you to be read for good and ill. Um, and all these institutions and all these ways of reading a human being um, produce knowledge about human beings and assume some kind of discipline. Um, having an address assumes a discipline that you remember your address, you fill in your address, you fill in forms. Um, and, um, and similarly, telling the truth about yourself means you're able to pluck out the relevant facts that are relevant to this particular form. And that is one of the things that we require pupils to be really good at plucking out, choosing relevant information about their life situation um, to the question that is being asked of them. And that's why this is really essential to, um, to being in school. So these are the kinds of um, institutions and practices and disciplines that we have already talked about, the kind that stretch um, from a grassroot level, um, i.e. practices of, of, of um, legibility and practices of reading and, and filling in forms to governmental. Um, practices of sending out the forms and giving funding to particular forms of social sciences. They assume some kind of discipline um, and they produce knowledge. And by focusing um, upon how valid that knowledge is um, and where it goes and who gets that knowledge, I mean, we may be ignoring the problem of what kind of practices, what kind of freedoms we had to sacrifice in order for that knowledge to be readable. We may have been focusing um, on the data when we should have been focusing and what it is that makes us readable as human beings. And we want to be, and I want to um, focus on readable human beings when we work with some computer games today, uh, this, uh, um, this week, um, on how we read a screen um, and how we read societies and how we train children to do the same and how computer games do train children to do the same. This is issue of discipline, the disciplined human being that um, enables knowledge um, is something that which is um, extremely important to how to, um, to do schooling without too much discipline. The practice of lining up our children and counting them.